Here I have QGIS desktop open with the user one map set open and a couple images loaded. So I'm going to find and open the r.map calculator tool. So I'm going to click on the grass tools, go to modules list, and type in calculator. There it is, r.map calculator. I'll click that to open the tool in its own tab. And I'll set the following options. A is going to be SAC sub 3. And I'll click this button to make sure the region setting is set to the extent of this image. Under B, it's going to be image 4. And then for the formula, I'll type float B minus A divided by float B plus A. The name for the output is going to be NDVI. And I'll click run. It's successfully finished. I'll click view output. At this point, I have a black and white image. And while this is the calculated NDVI, it's going to be more visually appealing and better for a map reader in understanding where the healthy vegetation is located to apply a better color scheme to this. To do this, I'll apply a color table to the NDVI raster. So I'll close my map calculator tool. I'm going to switch to the modules list. I'm going to type in colors into the filter box and find this r.colors table tool. My layer is going to be NDVI, and the type of color table will be normalized difference vegetation. I'll select that and run the tool, and it's finished. Close that, and close my grass tools. Sometimes this will not immediately apply the color table to the loaded raster, so in this case I'm going to right-click on this layer and remove it from the canvas, and go back into the Add Raster Layer button and re-add this layer. Click OK. And at that point, the color takes effect. So in this lab, you've learned the basics of using grass tools inside of QGIS to complete composite operations, mosaics, subsets, and NDVI. This lab just scratches the surface in terms of grass's capabilities, and future labs will delve deeper into grass.